hi everyone thank you so much for joining me thank you to all the new subscribers who just subscribed welcome to my channel i really do appreciate it. if you haven't yet subscribed make sure you do so that you don't miss any uploads that i upload i have so much things beneficial things coming up guys today this tutorial is gonna be on cmos bladder whack and burdock and how basically you can get a full day's minerals out of all these three and this definitely is an inspired video if you don't know dr sabi has a sea moss and bladder rock is called pomade plus that he sold in in the in his la office so i just it was i'm just inspired to make my own and definitely i love this guy so if you definitely want to know how to make it at home you know i'm gonna show you two different ways that i make it um one way i like it more than the other but definitely it's your choice on how to make it i'm gonna show you the two different ways to make it and you make your own choice whatever benefits you okay so, so guys here you see i'm just adding some lime to it you know i just it's just for extra cleanliness you know you don't um want the worst thing to have is taking a you know a spoonful of that sea moss and bladder whack and you get a sand or you know a little bit of debris in your mouth is not good so i'm making sure to really wash it well and guys you don't need so much sea moss especially if you're you know a single person because that sea moss expands it expands two to two three times times its size so you don't want to have so much and you know if you're not going to be using it on an everyday basis so right here i'm just you know cleaning it off very very well and making sure that you know you can give it a taste you know after you've cleaned it off to make sure that once you know you put it in your mouth there's no sand any salt or anything like that and right here i'm just showing you i rinsed it off three times and you can see the different times like the the water you know clarity you know so definitely word of caution make sure your sea moss is rinsed off very well so now it's ready and good to go okay so i'm gonna add some water here so so i've added about one and a half cup of water um that i'm going to be adding the sea moss to i didn't like i said i made one cup of sea moss and so right here you're just seeing the sea moss in you know boiling in with the water and soon about in about you know five ten minutes you're going to see like it's going to be thickening up as you go and you know i'm just testing it to make sure that it is um becoming a gel like consistency and then once it's pretty much good right here when it's almost done like about a minute or so i lower it and i'm adding just that bladder whack now guys you want to make sure bladder whack this is a teaspoon of bladder whack i added two teaspoon bladder whack is very potent and it has a very strong fishy smell so you don't want to you know overpower it you know already sea moss smells like the sea <laughs> as the name goes and bladder whack has that fishy you know type of smell so you want to just use a bit of it and you know right here i'm just combing it all together and this is the result you see a nice gel like consistency substance that i have so um once you're done with that you're more than welcome you know cool it off in the you know on the counter for a little while and then you're going to put it in your glass touch so now i'm going to be showing you the other you know other method of making sea moss you know this one i did not put any bladder whack in it because i just want to show you how to make just to make the sea moss by itself you're more than welcome after you know once it's turning into a consistency 
you know a gel like consistency you're more than welcome to add the bladder wax but in this one i didn't add so as you can tell here i just added the sea moss to about one and a half cup of water again and as you can tell it's blending up really nice and you know it's about two to three minutes and you're seeing it right now gelling up and starting to you know get that gel form so guys as you can tell here the gel is thickening up as you know the it's blending inside the you know the blender so don't be afraid to be like oh, okay so is, is it thickening up or not give it some time it will definitely thicken up into a gel like substance and within that time it's up to you of you know what you want to do whether you want to make it more thicker or a little bit more runny it all is up to you guys so guys now that my sea moss and bladder whack are pretty much complete i'm making a burdock tea where i've added three teaspoon of burdock to three cups of water and you know my tea um my burdock is pretty much good to go i add a little bit of the sea moss and bladder whack about a tablespoon of it and then to a cup and as you can see here, you don't even see any of the sea moss and bladder wax, nor do you even taste it, which is really, really good because it's very strong and potent. So I love this tea. Another thing that I do once I have my sea moss and my bladder wax finished is that I add it to, you know, the blender and then I make a juice, a nice and yummy juice right here. I've got my sour sap juice in my glass, which I'll be adding to my um smoothie so i got some baby banana in there then i got some sour sap juice that i've made previously and then i'm going to add be adding some mangoes on so onto i just love mangoes i add it onto everything most of the time people just add the sea moss and the bananas and you know they blend that up but still I just want to be extra and I added some mangoes and sour sap juice to it. So guys, I'm just blending all that goodness up and you can see once it's, it's like pretty much finished, it thickens up into a nice, you know, consistency and mm, 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 it is delicious. Once it's finished, it is so yummy and it's so delicious. I've added also just, you know, to be extra, I... Put in some hemp seeds just sprinkle a little bit of you know some hemp seed onto it and then i so enjoy guys, for me you know, my smoothie. this is how i store it i don't put the um, jar on it i put a cheesecloth over it so it's it's able to breathe and that's what i do for the other ones too all of my sea moss and bladder wax i do not put the jar over it. i just add the cheesecloth and store in the fridge and it will last for about two to three weeks depending for me it doesn't last three weeks because i run out of it within you know a week and a half or so guys thank you so much for joining me look at all the delicious delicious you know ways you can you know do sea moss and bladder whack and what you can do with it i got my burdock tea with it so i'm just getting all my minerals today i got my nice delicious you know smoothie and you know i got my sea moss and my bladder whack in the fridge so i'm all set and ready to go if you have any questions do not hesitate to put it down below and I'll be more than happy to answer your question. Thank you so much once again for joining me. I really do appreciate it. And until the next video, you need to take care of yourself. Okay? Bye-bye.